Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. This is going to be my very very first uh, album review and the honor has been given to me by Funeral Whore to review their latest album called Phantasm. They've released this beast on FDA Records a few months ago, I guess two or three months ago and when I went on their Facebook page they um, uh, got a lot of uh, just regular online typing uh, reviews and I want to do something more um, for them since I know them a lot better since I've got a lot of them got a fuckload of t-shirts of them got the, this one also the Phantasm release their previous album Step Into Damnation their demo Dead Upon the Cross and I wanted to give them something like this and so funeral horror there you go graag gedaan Step Into Damnation was their 2012 full length record released through Chaos Records and since then Funeral Horror has been taking a lot of big steps they've went to Mexico to play uh, alongside uh, some other sick bands they've uh, released a split with um, Obscure Infinity if I'm not mistaken and now they have been signed to FDA Records which is one of the biggest old school death metal record labels that is there is on this planet so props to Funeral Horror and props to uh, FDA Records for um, coming together and releasing this beast which Phantasm Phantasm is a old school death metal record from Funeral Horror of course and it has some amazing tracks on it um, my favorite track is The Tall Man and when I talked to uh, Roy from Funeral Horror, he told me like, yeah, dude, it's a um, album based on the movie and a bit around it um, called Phantasm, of course. And it has been more of an um, horror themed uh, record than the previous uh, record, which was, I think, about uh, serial killers and now they've gained a lot of big steps in those four years they didn't um, went downhill with their um, awesome stuff and they've only gained more experience and they delve deeper into different styles of music and they've put it in one unique style of old school death metal Phantasm is a absolutely great record. Uh, the only thing I don't like is the uh, amount of volume the singer of uh, Roy has. The um, all the other instruments really overtop uh, the the great great voice that Roy has. The the low grunts and the low they're just amazing. But on the next record. I really want uh, Roy's voice to pop up and take the um, take the the leading uh, the leading uh, instrument of all the other, and I believe they are going to do that, and I hope they are going to do that because, on the other hand, I would have given this album a nine out of ten, and never give a ten out of ten, and there is no way that there is going to be an album that's gonna get a 10 out of 10 for me if I'm not mistaken but this album Funeral Whore deserves an 8.5 out of 10 and the only thing not good about it is the volume of Roy's voice the rest is just perfect the song The Tall Man I don't know if you can see it on this one or on this one yes on this one you can see the tall man number four yeah number four is a great great song and that really pops out for me and um, 
Yeah, if you ever get the chance to see Funeral Horror Live, please go to them. Please say hi. They're really up to. Um, they're really f um, open, and they really are willing to give a conversation, um, to put up a conversation with you and talk about the old school death metal band. Uh, to talk about, um, especially Roy, loves to talk about the Second World War, and just. Go up to them, buy them a beer. They really, really are fun guys and girl, because the second guitar, second guitarist is a girl, a woman, and they really are cool guys and girl. So please check them out. And if you never heard of them, I put a link in the description to everything, to every MySpace or Bandcamp or their label, everything where you can find Funeral Horror will be put in the description again Funeral Horror Phantasm at 8.5 out of 10 keep it up Funeral Horror and to everybody else have a great one see ya